Hi, Anything But Today, uh, sponsored by LICC Dreams, is at number 10 Sangam Lane in Bellavapta, which was once upon a time known as 57th Lane. And in this beautiful house here lives a young man called Hemal Arindra Ranavaka, whom the whole of Kolabu knows as Kolu, K O W L W. Kolu, hi. <laughs> good to have you on my show. K O L W. Okay, okay. Hi, I still have to correction. Are you in a good mood or a bad mood? Today? I'm always in a good mood. Oh, yeah. Are you in a bad mood, so also? <laughs> Kolu, take us back to your childhood. What was life like here in, in Bellavata in the good old days? Bellavata is a fun place. I mean, we all had bungalows here. You see a thousand apartments here. Can you imagine these are all, everything down this road was just one floor bungalow, just one bungalows. Tall walls and gates? No, short walls, gates were hardly ever closed. People used to walk into each other's houses. I'm sure in your idea yes, to the sir. same. And it was always open house and you know, but remember the age, there was not this technology we didn't have. And so we play and all kinds of things, cycling, all kinds of nice energetic things used to happen. Unlike now. What about the kerosene oil man, the patrakarya? Everything, the everyone, Kabaraguayas, uh, Garandias, where you get the canal close by. Yes. And then the Mumbai Mutai man and the Royal Bakery van, little bicycle coming with the buns in the afternoon and morning. Always great fun in these and areas. The man with that, uh, in the nights, yes, yes. Who's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you always said very, and even that ice cream van. Alorix ice cream. Alorix used to come in the night. Yes. yes yeah. Yes. Uh, you went to school. Your sister Mala went to St. Lawrence's uh, convent, Alabata, and you also went there. I went there. My Montessori was there. So why did you go to Mount Ibiza? You just stayed over there. And it was a strictly girls' school. <laughs> so from Montessori onwards. Okay. So. From there, I went straight into St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia, where I was right through. You were a good boy or a bad boy? I was a good boy at the start. In the classical sense of the word. I was actually a good boy. I was a very good student, everything. And then, oops, we went down the thing and became bad people. Okay. And o levels? Yeah, I did my o levels there. And we were part of the drama society. So that was where we had most amount of fun there. I actually did swimming also. And uh, so the drama society was a huge thing at that sure time. Sure, it was. And mainly. What are the most memorable roles you played in the St. Thomas's College Montevideo Drama Shop? Oh gosh, I, there were so many of our inter house uh, drama competitions of fun because it's, it's an annual thing. Then we had annual productions of uh, Matchmaker, Lloyd George knew my father, Ideal Husband, things like that. So all memorable roles. But always I was a girl in these things, you know. Even at that time, so you know, so it was forced on you, or you just enjoyed doing it. I know they used to just choose, uh, give us roles, and I suppose well, they thought that I look a pretty girl, and I was made a pretty girl. And you must have been. Yes, and we had Auntie Carrie, that is Rohan Pornaya's mother, used to do all our makeup and hair, and we used to love it. We used to have a great time, and there were great productions, the Lionel Men, which sold had sold out houses. Right. Uh, what influence did your father and mother have when you were a child? See, you always have nice. Memories of my childhood. Yeah, actually, uh, my father, of course, always allowed us to do what we wanted. He used to be very happy when I started cooking because he was a journalist. And in those times, we didn't have restaurants and everything. So, a lot of cooking used to go on in our house. So, a lot of this influence of my cooking came from my mother because there used to be this house is a hub of cooking going on all the time. And I used to help around here. Because my father passed away when I was about 15, 16. And so my mother was there, but by this time I had already got into cooking and actually I started by baking cakes. Okay, we talk about cooking in the next section. Yeah. For food. Oh, okay. Your sister, Mala. Yeah. Tough one, easy one. Tough. And I think which is good because she's the only one who keeps a check on me. Right? You needed that. And I think I yet need, I think yet, yet uh, 58. <laughs> and yet she keeps an eye on me, you know. So she, we live next door to each other. So there's no getting away from her. So she always keeps check on. Still the money. So I'm still the man. Beautiful name is Hemal Alindra. Why are you called Kulu? <laughs> Again, it was my sister. It was, she thought she's always played the fool out of me. I said, love water in the garden when I was a child. Okay. And she said, ah, anyway, you are anyway, you are the adopted child, you're of the domestics, you know. So and she's a call me Kola, Kola, Kola. Became fondly became Kolu. And don't ask me why. Everybody decided Kolu is quite nice and it became nice. Is there anyone who calls you Hemal Alindra? I had my father's sister and a cousin of mine. They're the only two who call me Hemal Alindra. Well, both of them are passed away. Now nobody calls me Hemal Alindra. And the funny part is that Kolu was a KOLU. 
Then one day I went to a numerologist and they said add another you going to the numerology. Okay. So that's how I became Kolu. <laughs> uh, your size. Yeah. You get annoyed when people refer to your size or to your weight. Uh, not it's a sore point? It's a sore point in this way because I have been always yo-yo but you know okay I'm large I know I'm large I don't like to exercise we have the love for food and alcohol right which you now control so you're a very slim young man I mean, I'm very slim I'm very slim, I very so slim till about 15 years happen? ago ah <sighs> bad lifestyle of eating and drinking that's uh, Drink make you of fat. course well if amount I drink does make you fight and the Not problem the by the <laughs> yeah yeah and the problem Kumari, I drank and I used to drink in the night and then eat at five o'clock in the morning this huge breakfast and then go to sleep right. so our lifestyle was very really, our day to night and all so I, you dog has had naughty things you know so you know so you drink dog? occasionally and that occasion I drink well so otherwise at the, at the recent at, at last week's uh, Miss, see the Mr. World Sri Lanka you were after entire bottle of vodka. Oh wow, we just and had you a, were nice, you were nice to people. I, now Why that, weren't you bitchy to people? <laughs> now I come to those days we get to snap. Now I decided have a smile on my face and be nice to everyone as much as you can. Why this change from that kulu to this kulu? I know everybody keeps asking me that they say, gosh, you have changed so I much. Have my friend Ranil, who I've been knowing for the last 45 years, he said, you're such a changed person that I'm even shocked that I, you don't even fight anymore, shout at public anymore. He used to say, you used to be a total embarrassment to be seen with anywhere somewhere because there yeah, you are drunk and somebody makes some comment at you and there's one huge row, you know. So I used to embarrass everyone, I think, around me. But people are also scared of me, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so on that note of uh, <coughs> multifaceted cool, we bring sequence X to a close. We, we meet you again, talking of uh, cross-dressing and drag queens, and Kolu's love for food, eating, and cooking food. Catch you soon. Everything about Kumar Dishilva with Kolu here, uh, sponsored by LICC.